guesses will survive a later, more rigorous scrutiny. Well, one doesn't, as I stressed earlier. But it is a good rule of thumb that the more beautiful the guess, the more likely it is to survive. I want to illustrate this with a, I apologize, it's a rather frivolous uh, transparency. It's an illustration from a children's book. And I'm putting it up as an example of something that is not beautiful. This is a picture of an elephant that has been surprised and is squirting some water out of its trunk. Now, any mathematician, and I think any non-mathematician, will look at it and find something rather unsatisfactory about that picture. Now, I'd say that the primary response is just an aesthetic one. It just doesn't look right. It's not nice. One can then go further and analyze it and say that this ought to be more like a parabola, but it actually it isn't. Or a simpler proof that it just isn't right is that it initially squirts more or less directly vertically, but doesn't come back and land on the tip of the elephant's trunk again. What is making the water move over in this direction? It's a complete mystery to me. Even if there were a strong wind, it wouldn't look right, I think. <laughs> so uh, aesthetics can sort of guide you, I think, to some kind of uh, mathematics as well. But there are also external reasons, I suppose this is an external reason, for the importance of beauty. The mathematician Eugène Wigner once gave a famous lecture entitled The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics. In fact, it's so famous that it's something of a cliché in mathematical circles even to mention it. He was referring to the fact that physical, the physical world obeys very simple mathematical laws, such as Newton's inverse square law of gravitation, and it is hard to explain why this should be. Could one not conceive of a world in which science was impossible because there simply wasn't enough regularity? Mathematics would still be possible in such a world, though whether it would be pursued is another matter, because simple and elegant mathem mathematical models would have no physical counterparts. I don't think this philosophical question has been satisfactorily answered. But we can be grateful that in our world, it is possible to use simple mathematical models. These can describe or even explain the great complexities of physics and to a lesser extent the other sciences. Once again, complexity arises from simplicity and once again, beauty reveals itself to be important. Thanks to this piece of good fortune, we can be confident that mathematicians, if they are given the freedom to pursue the subject that gives them so much pleasure, will continue to produce a body of work that is important in every sense of the word.